What's up Sailor Guardians? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my Sailor Moon YouTube channel. Over the past couple of months, I have been collecting a whole bunch of items that you can get here in the United States. Most of these items came from Hot Topic or Box Lunch or Amazon. If they are still available, I will put links down below in the show notes, but you can also find all of the information up on the screen as well. Let's go ahead and get started with the first item, which is the set of five drinking glasses. This this is available at Box Lunch for $39.90. It is made by Just Funky and it's a set of five inner Sailor Guardians in their Super Sailor Senshi uniforms. Someone over on my Instagram did mention that they also ordered these just like I did and theirs came in broken. So if you have a store close to you, you may want to consider going into the store and picking them up. So that's a little bit of a criticism when it comes to Box Lunch shipping things out because these were not packed very well. So these five glasses feature each of the inner Sailor Guardians, again, in their super uniforms. It is a 360 degree foil print. I will note that with foil prints, sometimes you can get little nicks in the actual printing. So keep that in mind. Uh, these are all glass and each of them are dyed a different color. Like this one is pink for Sailor Moon. All of them are hand washed. So keep that in mind too, because if you do soak them in water or if you put like hot things in them or if you microwave them or put them in a dishwasher, it can make the foil peel. These are very delicate items that you will want to treat delicately to ensure that they last a long time. Here we have Sailor Mercury. She looks absolutely gorgeous and I love how the foil really accentuates this character. It does look like pretty water, pretty bubbles. Next we have Sailor Mars and you will notice that Sailor Mars's sniper arrow bow and arrow are behind her. And you'll notice that there is a signature item behind each of the Sailor Senshi in the foil. I think that's really cool. She has a red glass. Then of course we have Sailor Jupiter. She looks really pretty. I think that's Jupiter Oak Evolution behind her. And lastly, we have Sailor Venus in a beautiful yellow cup. I would suggest them to anybody who wants to purchase them. I think they are beautiful. The next item I wanted to show you is this brand new Blu-ray. Now you may be wondering, why do we have a new Blu-ray when we already have the entire series on Blu-ray and DVD that was released earlier in the 2010s from Viz Media? Well, these are also released from Viz Media, but they feature master's copies. In fact, the entire show looks so much more high quality on these new Blu-ray masters. I'm calling them masters because they're very similar to the quality that you would get in Japan or even in Australia. Australia has better quality graphics and animation than we do on our copies that we get here in America. So these are a really, really good quality version of Sailor Moon if you want to have a hard copy. Now, if you have the older versions, then you can totally keep those too. But they did have some issues with the animation and the quality that you would see in the graphics when you're watching the show. There's some really good comparisons that some people have made online. Um, if I can find those before I make this video, I will link some of those and show you some of those comparisons on screen. I'm not gonna do my own comparisons because I think it would be a lot of work and it's already been done for us. So you can definitely see a difference in the quality of the visuals between the older versions and the newer versions. So if you're looking for really, really good copies of Sailor Moon, this is the entire first season and the box is absolutely beautiful. It features this really, really nice shiny print of Sailor Moon on the front. Of course, right here we have the English Sailor Moon logo. It says complete first season and this is kind of a matte box that it comes in. It's very pretty. And the back of it just features this really cute like filigree outline. And then we also have, of course, some screenshots from the show. This is a six disc set. It features all 46 of the original episodes in 1080p HD, four by three aspect ratio, English or English and Japanese stereo audio. So you get both English and Japanese. And there's also some extras as well. Let's take a look at the discs. Oh, pretty clean. There's nothing super special going on on the discs. So not a whole bunch of art happening here. We just pretty much have the same print on each one, just a bit of a color difference. 
that's about it. Let me know if you would like a deeper review of this copy of the DVD. I'm happy to do so. Okay, so this giant box is a Sailor Moon rice cooker. If you watched previously, I did do a slow cooker review as well. This is a matching rice cooker that originally came out in Canada, but now we have it in America as well. I don't believe this is currently in stock, but if it is, I will definitely link that down below too. I bought this, well, it retails for $39.90. I did not pay that amount. I think I got it for like half off with coupons. It's a three cup capacity, so it's not as big as my normal rice cooker. And this one also does not have as many options on it. So this is a very basic rice cooker. I did wanna note that on the front of it, you only have warm and cook. So as soon as you plug it in, it turns on to warm mode. Then you hit that little button to turn it on to cook. Uh, if you do want to use this to the full three cup capacity, I did notice that it tends to spew out water from the top of it. And that is if you hit it at the very max that it allows per their step-by-step -step instructions that do come in the box. So it's a little bit more messy than my regular rice cooker that I usually use, but it's not something that would hold me back from wanting to have this in my collection. It does make really nice rice. It does make very high quality rice. I thought the rice was well cooked all around and it did not take a super long time for it to cook the rice either. That might be because it is a smaller size than what I'm normally used to and it's really easy to wash. You can actually put most of the pieces in the dishwasher. So if you're looking for a rice cooker that is Sailor Moon inspired, this is definitely one that you can consider. It does have a Sailor Moon crystal print on the side of it, and I thought it was super cute, and it totally matches the slow cooker. Now, both of these originally came out in Japan. However, I was able to find them on Right Stuff Anime, so I was able to get them here in America through their shipping options. There are two different versions, and I believe these were first available in Crane Games, uh, very similar to the original Fluffy puff Puffies that I have right over here. I have mine right there. So originally we got Luna Artemis and Diana in just one stance. This year we got A and B versions of Luna. There's an active Luna where she's holding the moon stick and then there's a sleepy Luna right here where she has one eye open and both of them feature that flocked covering just like the first ones. So I'll go ahead and open these. Both of these are relatively inexpensive items that you can add to your collection. So really accessible, as long as you get them before they sell out. I noticed that whenever these do sell out, they tend to go up in price quite a bit, like double in price. So I would recommend trying to grab one of these in pre-order before they actually sell out from whichever proxy dealer that you choose to buy them from. Oh my gosh, y'all, these are so cute. Okay, so first off, we have the sleepy Luna right here with one eye open. <laughs> she looks so adorable. It looks like you woke her up from a nap. So as you can see, she does have this like flocked material all over her. So she's very, very soft to the touch, kind of velveteen almost. I got a few nicks on the back of her, but I don't see anything in the front, which is where I will be displaying her. And look at her toe beans. She's got little pink toe beans and I am all about that. I know that nobody's gonna see that whenever she's sitting on my collection shelf, but I don't care. That's such a cute little additional color there for nobody to see except for me. Oh, I love her. She's so cute. Oh, adorable. Okay, I'm so glad I got these. And here's the fluffy puffy Luna, the active version where she has the moon stick in her mouth. The moonstick looks really good. It even includes some different colors for the little gemstones. She looks great. I don't see much of any flaws on her, so she's looking really good. The flocking looks excellent on these characters. Oh my goodness. I'm just totally thrilled with how adorable she is. And look, she still has the little pink. She has the pink paws. I love it. Oh my goodness. Ah, how cute. Okay, let me know if you love her too, because I totally love her. So here we have the newest in the line of Q Poskets. These include, you have Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion. I got the B versions, which I believe are the same color variant as the A versions. The only difference is these can hold hands as opposed to the A version, 
which just like has her hand up to her shoulder. So I wanted the ones that hold hands. I thought it was super cute. So that's the version that I chose. So I have the B versions. Let's go ahead and open these two. Generally, these are available through Crane Games in Japan or Japanese Crane Games, if you have access to those here in America. They're relatively inexpensive to purchase and collect if you're interested in these style of characters. I know cute poskets aren't for everybody, but I think they're really cute. I think once I get all of them in, I'll probably do like a whole cute posket video. I am not collecting all color variants. I'm collecting one color variant of each of the senshi. So that way I don't inundate my entire shelf with cute poskets. Now these don't come pre-assembled, but they're fairly easy to assemble. They each include one of these Q posket stands. This is what the stands look like. Q poskets are often bootlegged, but they never get the stands right. So look for these stands. That's one really good way to tell if your Q poskets are real. Another great way is on the box, you should have a sticker and the sticker should look like this. If you peel the sticker up, there's actually a back to it too. They do feature these really big heads. You may have seen Disney ones of these, but here we have, of course, the Sailor Moon one. She looks so cute. I love her eyes. She's got some blush on there, some airbrushing. She's got a crescent moon at the top. These are pearlized. Nice little feature I didn't know that we would have. And she's got some really pretty gold paint on her dress. A little flaw in her hair right there. Nothing serious, but just a little flaw. That's about it for her. So let's go ahead and put her on her stand. I'll get Prince and Demion all set up. I love that he's wearing this really cute tuxedo. Like, look at that, it's so cute. His head wants to move around, so I'll hold it on there. I love that he has a mask on. He looks so cute. And there's a lot of detail going into his outfit. Like you can see some wrinkles in there, which is really interesting. He looks good. So once you put these on their stands, the nice thing is you can put them side by side and they can touch hands. That is so precious. How cute is that? I'm gonna have to mess with them a little bit to get them like close enough where they're actually touching their hands. Cause right now they're like a little bit far apart thanks to their little display stands. Maybe I can't use the stands if I want them to hold hands. They're close, but not quite. If I put Princess Serenity's stand like lopsided onto his, then they could hold hands. There we go, close enough. Now let's get into some American exclusives from Box Lunch and Hot Topic. There's a lot of them. This backpack is like a mother and daughter backpack. It's super cute. Uh, the front of it features, of course, we have Neo Queen Serenity. On the back of it, between the straps where your back will go, is this very cute print of Neo Queen Serenity, Sailor Moon, and Chibi Moon, or Small Lady Serenity. It's a really cute print. I think it's lovely. I just wish it wasn't hidden whenever you put it on. There's a nice zipper right in the back where you can hide items, like smaller items, like a passport, your ID, your wallet, whatever is like very important, you can hide against your back. These are slightly padded. However, it's kind of that cheaper plastic material that's covering the padding. So that might flake over time. I do appreciate that these are, are adjustable. This backpack was $79.90 retail. The front of it is very pretty. We have a crescent moon detail back here behind the bow. And the bow, it's accentuating the same kind of winged bow that you see behind Neo Queen Serenity. So it's got the same shape to it, which I thought was a very cute feature. We also have Neo Queen Serenity's tiara up at the top. And I don't believe there's a print in here, but there is a buckle to hold this backpack closed since it doesn't have a zipper. There's an additional zippered compartment on the inside. Oh, there is a print. And the print features, uh, it looks like a bunch of daisies and crescent moons on the inside. It's a relatively large backpack too. And I like that it has a front pocket as well. This is probably my favorite bag that I've gotten this year. It is so freaking cool. All right, so this one was also a box lunch exclusive for $74.90. I really like the leather in this one, although again, this is going to be like your fake leather. It's a softer leather, and I like that you can kind of feel the texture of the leather on this backpack, so that makes it look really nice and high quality. There's this beautiful print of the Inner Sailor Guardians, and it's a full-size print on the front of it. However, when you flip this around, there's also a print of the Black Moon Clan. 
How freaking cool is that? So you not only get the Ayakashi sisters, but you also get Esmeralda, Saphir, Rubius, Prince Demond, and you get Wiseman in the back. No black lady to be seen on this backpack, which is fine because I really like the four sisters. They're one of my favorite enemies. This is one of my favorite groups of enemies and I just like love the print on this. I think it looks so good. So whether you're feeling like a hero or a villain during your day, you can flip this backpack around because the straps, which are not very padded, these are very, very thin straps, so it would probably hurt if you put a lot of heavy stuff in here. These can be switched around depending on which way you wanna wear it. So you can see that there are buckles on both the front and the back, and you can flip these from the back side to the front side, depending on where you want to place them. There are also a couple of ways that you can change the straps at the, at the top. So if you want to, you could wear this as a crossbody as opposed to a backpack. So you can change out the top of the straps to one of these buckles. You could even take one of the straps off and use one as a purse loop up at the top. So you have a lot of versatility to this backpack and I really like that. The zippered compartments are relatively large. We got one zippered pouch on the back with the black moon plan. On the front, there's two compartments. There's one interior compartment that's pretty big, lots of room in there. And then we have the front compartment, which just features a little open pouch for all your small necessities. This is a box lunch exclusive that I got in an extra small. This is a very cute tie-dye, long sleeve shirt. It's pretty thin material. The reason I got this though is because of this back print. It features Chibiusa and Sailor Moon. It does have some kanji down at the bottom. It says Bishoujo Senshi Sailor Moon down at the bottom. Really like this pastel print. I think it looks very beautiful. There's also some katakana written down the side sleeve, which says Seira Moon. The other side features this is mostly kanji, yeah. That says Bishoujo Senchi, really, really cute. The front also has this very pretty pastel rainbow print of Sailor Moon right there. Before they were announced or available online, I posted pictures of these over on my Instagram because somebody had sent me pictures of them when they first showed up on the box lunch internal inventory list. So I got to see them before anybody else did. And I posted those pictures for everybody that follows me on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram and you wanna get like early sneak peeks at items that have not released yet, you definitely should. I like being able to post stuff like that because it means that it's giving you a chance to figure out your budget for the coming months and you're able to figure out what is coming out so you can save up for those items. Here we have a very cute corduroy sweater, button up, it's lavender in color. I would say this is unisex. It's definitely geared towards being available for any body type. The front of this does feature a really nice pocket with an embroidery Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon insignia on the front. I love the corduroy, it's very, very soft. I love that it's button up. There's another pocket on the other side with no embroidery on it. I purchased this in a medium. The retail price is $54.90. Now the back of this features this cool print of King Endymion and Neo Queen Serenity. And, and it honestly looks like he is so bored. Like his wife invited him to a photography session and he was just like, I'm not feeling this, but I'm here because you told me to come and she's all into it. You just look so bored. <laughs> all right, I'm tired of the tie dye too, but it's the four generals. So I had to get it because it's the four generals. It's definitely pretty big. So I think I bought this in a small. Yes, I bought this in a small. Retails $32.90. Really cute shirt. I love that the bottom of it has some Japanese and it does say the four kings of heaven on it. Oh, so cool. There's nothing on the back. So it's just straight up tie dye with the four generals. But look at the print. It is so neat. I love the colors on this. It's like classic for generals too. Okay, another box lunch exclusive that I may or may not have posted on Instagram before it was announced. This is a windbreaker. Oh, so cool, ah, I love it. Okay, so this windbreaker was kind of awkward when I put it on. I would have preferred if it was a like zip up windbreaker, but I bought it anyway because I think I only have one other like Sailor Moon windbreaker that came out years ago and I wanted another 
one. Then this one is cute. Retails for $59.90. I bought mine in a small. You can definitely tell that it is a windbreaker material. Is this polyester? Yes, 100% polyester, 100% nylon lining for the shell. On the front, we have this very nice print of the Inner Sailor Guardians with the English logo, of course. The big thing I wanted to mention about this are two items. First, you have a V-neck here, does not zip up. There is a cinched waist as well with the same kind of um, printing as the V-neck too. <laughs> but here's the cool part. It has pockets. Yes, you can totally wear this as an outer layer. It has pockets. You can put on your gloves and stick your hands in there. I love that. It is not a hoodie. The pockets do not go through all the way, but there is one pocket on each side. How cool is that? Okay, this is the last piece of clothing I have for at least a little bit until I get into like my very last box, but I got this one in an extra small. $54.90 is the retail price. This one has embroidery on it. You can also wear this um, with any body type. It's very comfortable. It is kind of like fleece lined, which makes it super warm. It's so comfy, I love it. So this is, it's kind of a two-toned sweater with that blue and the white on it. We have this gorgeous embroidery done at the top with some pastel colors, all of it written in Japanese. It says since 1991, which I thought was so cute. And then of course we have Sailor Moon's compact on the front. Nothing is on the back of this. I didn't want to give you a close up because it's a very comfy and really, really soft piece. So if you're looking for something that would be very comfortable in the winter time, I think this would be a wonderful piece. And even though it's embroidery, you may be worried that it would itch, but it doesn't have any of those like plastic pieces coming out of it on the backing. So this won't be itchy to wear. This is a license plate frame, super cute. So on the back, we have the logo printed on here. License plate frame, Toei Animation. This costs $9.90, available in the United States. And on the front of it, it's a pretty simple frame, really. It just features the Sailor Guardian planetary symbols as well as the crescent moon. So this is my licensed license plate frame that I do not currently have on my, my shared vehicle with my husband. <laughs> as much as I wanna put it on the vehicle, I'm gonna wait until he gets his own car so that I can turn mine into a Sailor Moon car. <laughs> I'm being nice. These are Luna and Artemis cable covers. They are so cute. Okay, so these are $14.90. So here we have the cable covers. There's one for Luna. And you may be wondering what is a cable cover? You basically just put your cables in here, like charging cables in here and they hug the cables. It's kind of like a hug cot. So these, they, you just feed the cable through and then you can stick them on top of the cable. They are super cute and you can put them on pretty much any cables. They're pretty universal. And I love the printing. They did a really good job on the printing here on their faces. Not much else going on on them. Here's Artemis. He looks super cute as well. His face looks so cute. They just look so pleased with themselves. <laughs> I also picked up a couple of blind bags. These are from the newest series of blind bags from Monogram International. Uh, when I purchased these from Hot Topic, they are available at a few different retailers though, but I got mine from Hot Topic. They retailed for $8.90, but I bought these during Hot Cash, so I did not pay that much. So series six features, again, the Ayakashi sisters. There's also Wise Man and Prince Devond in here. Those are the exclusives if you're looking for those. And then we have Sailor Moon and Chibiusa. So I only really wanted the Four Sisters, Chibiusa, and Sailor Moon. I'm still searching for the rest of them. Th these blind bags have this piece of cardboard around each of the characters, which is supposed to make it harder for you to tell which of the characters are which. But if you're able to like stick your finger in between there and start feeling around the top of them, you can definitely figure out which one is which based on their hairstyles. So there's a little pro tip for you. So if you're looking for a specific character, take your time and feel around on them if you can purchase these in person and if your store doesn't mind. My store did not mind. They let me stand there and like feel around all of them. I got Koan, one of the four sisters. She was pretty easy to tell because of this gem on the front of her head. You could almost, almost think that she was Chibiusa because they both have these pointy 
pigtails, but she has that gem on the front of her. So, so if you felt around enough, you could feel this gem inside the bag. So I got Koan and then I got Chibiusa and she was also, also one of the ones that I wanted. They're so cute. I love them so much. I think Monogram International does a great job on these and I have some previous ones from other series that they have released. So I definitely wanted to, you know, support their business and get more of these. These are tights. <laughs> so they are Sailor Moon Crystal tights. Uh, now a few people on my Instagram mentioned that they had already tried them on and they are definitely geared towards one size fits most. So that was something to keep in mind that a few people mentioned um, whenever I posted that I was purchasing these. So these are made by BioWorld and they feature a crescent moon along with the planetary symbols for the inner sailor guardians. I wanted to grab some more socks cause mine were starting to get a little old and uncomfortable to wear. So I got these Luna and Artemis socks. They're really cute. Uh, these are for shoe sizes five through 10. These are 1490. They're from BioWorld. Still in stock, I believe. So pretty easy to access. So the first one features Luna. The next one features Luna, two prints of her with a crescent moon. Then we have Artemis, a similar print of Artemis. And the last one also features Luna and Artemis. I also picked up some Luna P socks, which I believe are also still available. These fit most shoe sizes eight through 12. These are crew socks, so they're pretty long but I like the Luna P print. I thought it was really unique and they kind of go along with the same color theory as the Luna and Artemis socks. These ones were $9.90 and they're also made by BioWorld. If you're looking for a gift for a Sailor Moon fan in your life, this would make such a cute gift. I mean, it's perfectly boxed. I love the display and this would be so much fun to open for somebody. So these are a set of four measuring spoons. We actually got measuring spoons a few years ago, but they were not in color. They were, I think, two-toned. Yes, they were two-toned. I still have mine. Mine are actually sitting in my display case over here. The difference with these compared to those is those were only two tones, light pink and white, and they had a gold foil handle. These ones have a pink handle, and then each of the spoons has a print on it in color. So we have a crescent moon, Luna, Sailor Moon's compact, and then we have Sailor Moon's Fuku bow with the compact in the center. These are one tablespoon, one teaspoon, half teaspoon, and a fourth teaspoon. And each of them are labeled and they do have a cute little ribbon tie on them as well. So if you missed the first set of measuring spoons, now you have other ones that you can purchase as well. These are hand wash only, do not soak, do not microwave just like everything else that's released here in America. And these are $22.90. I do have a lot of coffee mugs and things, so let's go ahead and get into those. This is one of my only Sailor Moon mugs that's actually top rack dishwasher safe. I know, it's crazy, right? It's also microwave safe, who'd have thought? All right, so this one was $16.90. This is also made by Just Funky. So now we know that Just Funky can make stuff that's dishwasher safe, which is very exciting. I hope they do more of this because I would totally buy everything that's dishwasher safe and actually use it. This is an 18 ounce coffee mug. It is nice and heavy. It feels really durable. It feels really nice and thick. And I love that you have all the different Senshi planetary symbols in the crescent moons. And then you also have this print silhouette of Sailor Moon on the front of it. And it's kind of like stoneware almost. So it's got that like stoneware feel and then the white feels like it's printed onto it. Next, we have another foil lined piece. This one is actually from Spirit Halloween. I know, so weird. I was only able to find this in store at Spirit Halloween. The first week that Spirit opened, it's very hard to find this mug, but I was able to get a few of them and I was able to send them out to some other Sailor Moon fans. So really excited that I was able to help some other people get this as a collector piece. So this one features Eternal Sailor Moon on the front with this really cool rainbowy star print behind her. And that goes all the way around with the Sailor Moon logo on the back of it. This was $12.99 at the store. Even though this is do not soak and hand wash only, I may use it just because it's such a nice big coffee mug. 
and I prefer big coffee mugs because I drink a lot of coffee. So <laughs> I do really like the size of this. I think it's very pretty and it's, it's heavy too. It's very heavy. Story of my life, do not soak, do not microwave, hand wash only, but so pretty. This coffee mug is one of my favorites. I'm gonna use this as a display piece because it's so pretty. This one features all of Sailor Moon's articles and attack wands, as well as her compacts. It's really, really cool. It features a print of the compact or a print of the wand or whatever it might be. It has English, below it and then it has the Japanese name below that and I thought that was such a cool feature. I love that this is in this really pretty like pearlescent print. Very simplistic but really cool. Oh and before I forget there's a cute little print of Luna jumping over the crescent moon in the inside. That's so cute. Okay a couple of years ago we got a colorless tea mug or tea glass. This one features the same print but this time in color. So here we have Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon printed below, Sailor Mars printed there, Venus, Jupiter, and Mercury. This is the same kind of pearlescent print that we got on that mug that I just showed you, but it has a pink interior. And this was $16.90, currently in stock. So you can buy this for yourself. I absolutely hate that whoever creates these put this stupid paper sticker on the front of it. So now I have to like work this off and peel it off without it tearing all over the place. And that ends up giving you a sticky residue and then you have to clean it off and you might scratch the print. I hate that, that's so annoying. I wish they would stop putting stickers on things like this because it's very irritating. If it was a vinyl sticker, not so much of an issue, but this is a cheap paper sticker and it just tears when you try to move it. Very annoying to clean those off. Okay, this is the last mug I have, I promise. <laughs> I have a lot of mugs and probably one of my favorites. So this is considered a glass latte mug. Ooh, fancy. I love the look of this. I love that it's different than a lot of the other mugs that we have gotten from Box Lunch and Hot Topic, especially Box Lunch. This one does feature the cosmic heart brooch on the front. On the back, we have the spiral heart moon wand. This is really, really pretty. And then we have this beautiful, it's almost like a pink gradient going from the bottom to the top with this glass latte mug. This one is, again, do not soak, do not microwave, hand wash only. But this is supposed to be for lattes, so it's rather large. You could definitely use this for other things too, like coffee. Just a beautiful piece. Like this feels like something you would normally get in Japan just because of how artistic it is and how simplistic it is. It's very, very pretty, very modern, very mature. Really pretty. For $14.90, you can pick up some chopsticks in a utensil set. This looks like something out of the 1990s, <laughs> doesn't it? I mean, it's that kind of plastic. Definitely looks like it. Can you wash these? No, gently hand wash only. Don't soak, don't microwave, of course. Inside here, you have a set of chopsticks. There's a fork and a spoon, and they all sit in here together. All of them are made out of plastic, and I love this so much. I'm gonna put this in like my camping gear, or maybe I'll put this in my travel gear, because I always need utensils whenever I go to like hotels. You get carry out and they forget to put a fork in your bag, like <laughs> all the time. It's always a thing, so this would be really nice to carry around with me. This is $12.90. I believe I got this from Hot Topic many, many months ago. Really cute, just over overall little makeup bag in case you're still looking for makeup bags. I know we have a million of these by now, but I love, I love collecting bags. They're so much fun and they're so useful. I can use them for everything. I could put like my camera gear in here for vlogging. So here we have chibis of all of the Sailor Guardians, all of them, including the outers, which is the reason why I bought this because it has the outers on here. And I love that. On the back, we get this very cute, like springtimey summery aesthetically pleasing Sailor Moon English logo and a bunch of flowers and doilies in the back. It's so girly, it's so cute. No print on the inside, but it is pretty soft. So it's got like a nice soft shell on it. How about a purse? I love this purse. I will give you the pricing details down below because I already took the tag off of here since I've already used this purse a couple of times, but I love this purse. So you have a regular shoulder strap. You also have the strap for your hands or for your wrist. On the front, there's this really cute chain. This chain features Luna P. We have 
the time key, a bunch of cat hair because I have cats. And then we have Luna's head right here. A little chain, it cannot be removed. So if you're not into the chain, I'm not really into the chain, uh, then you, you can't remove it unless you like really manage to bend these metal pieces. We also have this awesome print of Sailor Moon on the front, pink detailing going on. On the back, there's a print of Usagi and Shibuyusa with Luna P in this crescent moon. That's very, very cute. So you can use this either way. If you wanna swap it and turn this around so this is facing the front, you could totally do that. Nice thing about the newer box lunch bags is that they all feature this metal logo on the side to let you know that they are exclusive to box lunch. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention is a lot of these don't feel as high quality as lounge flies, but for some reason, the prices are the same as lounge flies fly if not more expensive like I did order most of them and I returned like half of them just because the cost was so high and I was like it's not worth it if it was a lounge fly I totally would have kept it but for some reason I don't know why but they switched the brand manufacturer of all these Sailor Moon bags to somebody else I'm not really sure why oh I think I found the tag okay so this was $69.90 there you go. I like the print that goes on on the inside of this purse. It features all of the inner Sailor Guardian wands as well as Sailor Moons. There's a zipper compartment as well as a open compartment. It's a good bag. Uh, this bag would fit most of your items and I really like the print on this. The last bag I'm gonna show you, I swear this is the last one. This one came from Hot Topic and it was less than $50. Yay! So this one was $49.90. This is considered the Scouts Pink Icons mini backpack. It is a little bit smaller than a lounge fly. Not by much though. It's pretty close in size. This is not a lounge fly, but it has a very cool print of the inner Sailor Guardians on the front with these pink icons in the background. This is not metal. It is like a fake leather tag that they've sewn into the front of the bag. There is a zipper compartment, no additional printing on the inside of that. And the center compartment only features the zipper in the back. But I do like that they have the full color image of the inner Sailor Guardians on the front of this backpack. That's the main reason why I wanted to purchase this one. Oh, and these are adjustable as well, even though they are not padded, so not super comfortable. This one came from Box Lunch. It's a really cool shirt. I got this in a small. This one features all these different Sailor Moon icons. So we have a bunch of wands for the Inner Sailor Guardians. You have their transformation pens as well as their transformation power sticks. So you have the star power sticks down here. We also have a lot of the attack wands. Moon stick is down here. And then we have the spiral heart moon rod and the cutie moon rod right here. There's also Chibi's pink moon stick. And then we have some of the compacts and brooches. The nice thing about this one is the quality of the material. I don't know what it is about this, but it's very, very soft. It's 100% cotton. Maybe it's because of the color and the threading on here. It's washed differently. I don't know, but it's a very, very soft shirt. And I like that. I wish all of their shirts were this soft because, and I wish they were all one tone instead of tie dye, let's be honest. But this was definitely a must have. So this is the newest printing, reprinting of the Sailor Moon manga. This is another reprint. So if you have one of the previous ones, you may not, not want to purchase this one. Personally, my favorite is the Eternal editions. Somebody asked me months ago to do a comparison of all the different manga. Um, I'll find your tweet. I think you tweeted me. If you do want to see a, a manga comparison, let me know. I'm more than happy to do so because I own pretty much all of them. So this is the newest reprint in English. Originally, these came out as a smaller format in Japan called Bunko editions. Uh, they're meant to be more travel, more compact, easier to read on a train, for example. The ones that they released in English in America and overseas are a little bit larger than those ones. But the first one that they came out with, if you got it from Barnes & Noble, it came with a little poster in the back. So that's why I wanted to show you this. I'm not going to tear this out. I'm going to leave it in there. But I love that it's like a little exclusive Easter Easter egg. Really cool. This is the only one I believe that has an exclusive poster included in this edition of the manga. So if you get number two, there's not an extra poster in there or anything. They do have a little bit of updated translations in this copy. So if you want different translations, you may want to purchase this one. They are a little bit larger in size than the Bunko ones. 
but they do look really good. So there you go. New editions of the Sailor Moon manga. This is a USB powered light. It's an LED light of Sailor Chibi Moon. This can be lit up in a variety of different colors. It is an etched acrylic plate. So when you light this up, the white parts or the outline of Chibiusa, those will light up in different colors. It is full RGB, however, it doesn't, I don't believe it changes from color to color, but if you click the button on the base, it'll change from each of the different colors. It includes a five volt USB cable. However, there is no uh, plug included in the box. So you have to have your own plug. It has a smart button and seven color LED. So this is micro USB, kind of unfortunate given it's 2022, we still don't have like USB-C LED lights. I know USB-C is more expensive to manufacture, but it would be more universal. That would have been nice. This is the base. The only thing happening in this base is it's got an LED light strip in there, micro USB right here. And then right here is your smart button. So that is a capacitive, like a capacitive touch button. Oh, and it looks like you can change it out to accept batteries instead of USB. That's really cool. So it looks like it takes three double A's. I'm going to have to test that out. Neat. That's a nice little surprise. I'm going to try to not get my fingerprints all over this, but here is the Chibiusa acrylic print. So it is etched on the back. So when you're ready to set this up, all you have to do is slide Chibiusa into the base like so, stand her up straight, and then you can start changing the colors on her when you turn it on. It's very simple to use, really easy. I would definitely recommend this if you're a Chibiusa fan. This would be a nice like little unique signature piece to put in your collection. Do you wanna see some cute poskets? Okay, I'm not gonna take them all out of the box, but I'll show you them and then I'll probably do a separate video of like just cute poskets because there's a lot of them. <laughs> so I'm just gonna run through these really quick. This is my army. Have you seen my army? <laughs> Cause this is my army. I have 12, 13, 14. I have 14 that I have purchased this year, just this year alone. Um, I've been getting them really cheap off of Amazon, surprisingly, but I've been able to find all of them for like really cheap prices. It kind of just depends on where I got them, but some of them have the silver toy sticker and some of them have the gold toy sticker. Just kind of depends on if you buy them like internationally or in Japan. So some of these are imports, some are not. I don't really care because the boxes don't change and neither do the characters. The only thing that changes is the sticker. So I decided to collect the A versions of their sailor uniforms. Thank you for your recommendations. Last time I opened cute poskets, by the way. I decided to purchase the B or pastel versions of them in their school uniforms. And then when the princess line comes out, I'll probably do anime color versions of them for the princesses, most likely, maybe. Maybe both? No, I'll probably just do anime. So here we have Sailor Neptune. She's the newest one that I picked up. I actually got hers straight from my local Hot Topic. I used Hot Cash and got her for a really good price. So I was very happy about that. Here's Sailor Uranus. She's really cute. I'm very impressed with her. She's adorable. I also picked up Sailor Mars. Sailor Mars is looking sassy AF. She's so cute. <laughs> I love her stance. Sailor Venus right here. Again, all of these are the A series, the anime color editions. Here we have Sailor Mercury. She's so cute. So cute. I can't stop myself. Cute poskets are so inexpensive and so easy to collect. I have both versions of Chibi Moon because she's doing different poses. So I got A and B. So this is the B version. And then we have the kaleidoscope version, which I guess you could call her this. The, this is the movie version. She looks really cute. Really, really cute. Um, I don't have Sailor Jupiter yet, but she just came in stock on like Hot Topic or something. So I'll probably just order her there. Yeah, I'm just taking my time with these because they're so easy to find. So I'm not too worried about collecting these, like pre-ordering them or anything. I did pre-order those too. That's why they're so new. But the other ones, they've been coming out over the past couple of years and I've just been like kind of grabbing them whenever I see them on stock on Amazon. So here I have the school uniform versions. We have Sailor Venus here. This is again, the pastels versions. So Sailor Venus, Sailor Mercury. She's so cute. Amy is adorable. Then we have Ray. Of course, she has the different school uniform because she's at a different school. Chibiusa, she has her, I guess this is like the elementary school uniform. Makoto. I actually found her at a card game shop. I was really surprised. I saw her and I was like, yeah, I'll grab her, thanks. Oh yeah, if you buy from Amazon, 
sometimes your boxes come like this. I don't really care because I'm going to take them out of the box anyway, but that can be really annoying to a collector. If this was like a really expensive item, I would be very concerned about that, but it's not. She's a pretty cheap little item. So that's it for my American haul from the past couple of months. I've uh, found a lot of really amazing products. I've been pickier, so I didn't buy like everything in front of my face. I've been very picky about shirts, especially because I'm tired of tie-dye. <laughs> so I only got like, what, two tie-dye items in the past few months. Um, that's not a lot in comparison to how many tie-dye items have come out. So let me know if you have any questions or if you want a deeper dive into any of these products, more than happy to do so. I have been posting 60 second reviews over on my TikTok, YouTube shorts, as well as Instagram. If you don't have time to watch a full YouTube video, you're more than welcome to watch one of those 60 second reviews instead. Those are really quick fast paced, very easy ways to get access to the information that you should get before purchasing these items without having to watch like half an hour of me going through and unboxing a giant box of all sorts of different items. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please do subscribe. It absolutely helps me grow my business as a content creator for all my different channels. And let me know down below what items you have purchased, what's your favorite, what you wanna hear more about. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sailor Snubs, Janae. What did I get myself into? All these cute paws gets. Okay.